Hello Cloud Gurus! Welcome back to another AWS This Week where we find out what goodies AWS have in store for us from the past seven days. I am your friendly neighborhood Jess Alvarez and today we find out what will be added to AWS cost anomaly detection notifications. We'll celebrate Amazon EBS APIs getting an upgrade and finally we'll talk about the special advanced notice for S3. What does that all mean for you? Well, stay tuned to hear the full story in this episode of AWS This Week. AWS Cost Anomaly Detection is a financial management service that allows you to automate detection and root cause analysis of cost anomalies. You can define thresholds and set up notifications to alert you via email, Slack, Chime, etc. And that's where the big news comes in. The details sent in those notifications is getting a boost. It will now include the account and monitor name as well as monitor type. Now email notifications are getting a little bit more. Email notifications will also include <gasps> start date, last detected date, and the duration of the anomaly. This information is a huge help when you're tracking down the cause of anything really. This new functionality is included using the console and API, so that's also good news. Take a look at the resources to check out how you can get started using AWS Cost Anomaly Detection. Amazon EBS is Amazon's block storage solution. Attach an EBS volume to an EC2 instance quick fast to start using the solution. It has a free tier and is super easy to use. Create snapshots of those volumes really easily as well, but never forget to set up life cycles on those snapshots so you don't have costs stacking up on anything you no longer need. On the topic of snapshots, you can access the contents of an EBS snapshot using EBS Direct APIs. You might need to access a snapshot to spot the difference between two different snapshots. These Direct APIs now support IPv6. Woohoo! <laughs> Before you get excited, the Direct API endpoints are currently available in only four regions. Ohio, North Virginia, North California, and Oregon. So make sure your environment is using one of those four regions and enjoy the coolness. Amazon S3, or Simple Storage Service, is Amazon's object storage solution. With every solution, there come ways to secure it. S3 has several ways to keep your buckets safe, such as blocking public access and blocking access to individual objects with ACLs, or Access Control List. Well, we got a huge heads up from Amazon about two changes to Amazon S3 security to buckets that will be rolled out starting in April 2023. These changes include default settings for S3 block public access and ACLs. So, starting in April 2023, S3 block public access will be automatically enabled on every new bucket. ACLs will be automatically disabled for new buckets. So this means if you have any applications that need public access or use ACLs to access buckets, you'll need to purposefully go in and configure those buckets to be public or use ACLs. Consider using automation scripts or CloudFormation templates to configure these settings so that your environment can continue evolving with them. Lastly, these settings will be applying to every new bucket in every region, including GovCloud and China regions. Check out the resources for some additional information regarding this new change, including the post by Jeff Barr. Love is here. That concludes this episode of AWS This Week. I'll include links in the resources to cover all the announcements we covered today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join our awesome Discord community. Happy holidays, gurus. May your new year bring you great adventures and fabulous techery. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, deep breath, baby steps, and keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. I'll see you next year.